Hi there. Um, first off, Russ, yes, you're right. This is a new look. I shaved for the first time in seven years on Tuesday. Wow. Some of you may remember me having a beard down to uh, uh, there. Um, and I decided it was time. So. I do have a face, and isn't it a lovely face? Yeah. So you want to hear a story? Yeah. I died again today. Yeah, again. I, I, I got lucky this time. The prick running the red light while I was in the crosswalk managed to swerve before he hit me. But, you know, there's there's another me that's laid up in a hospital bed right now, paralyzed for life, and... Well, I, I think that the really lucky one is the one who got scraped up off of the sidewalk on the scene, shoveled into a body bag, because at least he gets to have some rest now. I mean, you know, I, I won't always have such good luck. I mean, one day it might be a house fire, or a construction accident, or just, hell, maybe I'll slip on a stairwell and tumble my way into being an invalid. But I guess that's kind of the stuff you got to worry about when you're immortal. You see, there, there was, I, I should really explain, there was this physicist who had a theory about parallel dimensions. He thought that for every event that has multiple possible outcomes, things would branch. And then each of those universes would have their own infinite universes, and each of those would have, it, it just goes on forever. And then to expand on that, he thought that, well, the human mind would inevitably follow whatever, whatever path didn't lead to death. Of course, in all of that, he didn't say anything about quantum invulnerability. I mean, just because you can't die doesn't mean you're some kind of superhero. Everybody has their bumps and bruises. It's just sometimes you get hit with something really nasty. And, well, what happens when your clock never winds down? That's, that's when it's just a matter of time before... Ooh... I mean, maybe that, that house fire leaves your hands fused into a solid mass, or maybe that construction accident leaves you shitting into a colostomy bag, or that slip on the stairs leaves you with permanent brain damage, and you can't even remember how to tie your shoes anymore. And, I mean, when you think about it, this whole quantum invulnerability thing, excuse me, quantum immortality, kind of makes sense. Because, you know, when was the last time you sat and really thought about that emptiness, that void of death? I mean, you, you, you can't comprehend it. It's impossible. Even when you sleep, it's just consciousness, and then dreams, and then consciousness. It's nothingness bracketed only by the observation of the things your mind gives you. Which is interesting because, well, when they talk about quantum physics, it's always in the terms of observation. After all, if Schrodinger hadn't been there to open the box, who could say that there was ever a cat in there to begin with, dead or alive? And, well, the funny thing about that, this whole quantum immortality thing, maybe, maybe that whole bit is just because I started paying attention. Maybe the only reason why I can't die is because someone told me that I wasn't going to. And Well, <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of funny because, well, now I've told you, which, well, hey, <laughs> enjoy eternity. But, you know, look on the bright side. At least now we'll have some company. <laughs>